okay yeah the recording is started so good morning students so i think this is your fourth or fifth class of geotechnical engineering taken by me janta kumar das so in the last class uh, i guess we have discussed about index properties of soil right so at least we have uh, have got one int a simple introduction to all the uh, index properties of soil like water content i think you remember all the index properties index properties of soil how many index properties of soil i think you can if you know you can write down in chat box or just write down the index properties of soil water content it's a index property of soil then specific gravity then in soil density or fill density yeah back we need to also be a uh, index property you can say that then particle size distribution and consistency index or at arbor limit okay anything else did i miss something if i miss something you can write in chat box so anyway uh, in the last class we already discussed about water content determination and your specific gravity determination and deter determination of field density okay so water content can be determined by numbers of <coughs> standard procedure <coughs> among the uh, mentioned procedure uh, determination of moisture content or water content by ovendra method it's considered as the most accurate method calcium carbon method is considered as the quickest method isn't it and technometer can be used or uh, to find out specific gravity also isn't it then field density or in situ density can be determined by two method that is core cutter method and sand replacement method so i advise you also that you just go through the student portal you will get the link of material of a uh, standard procedure also additional video of uh, how to do or how to determine index property of soil in laboratory you will get all these details so go i ad advise you to go through that uh, video and the notes see raju permeability is not an index property it's a, a engineering property okay so there is a difference i think we already discussed about that so index properties are are what are used to classify the soil to identify the soil okay and engineering properties are actually applica applied property okay which actually applied and uh, to find out the design uh, parameter or something like that okay so slowly slowly we'll get to know about even about permeability also in coming classes fine so in today classes uh, in today class uh, we we are going to discuss about uh, particle size distribution fine okay so i'll just uh, sharing my screen now okay can you see my screen anyone please uh, please respond in chat box also you can respond or just unmute yourself just talk to me my screen is visible right okay yes okay thank you yeah can you see this uh, presentation slide so in this class we are discussing about yeah okay fine so in this class we are dis discussing about particle size distribution okay so before that we'll go for a quick revision uh, quick uh, understanding of soil classification okay so we already discussed about different types of soil based on uh, origin isn't it so we all in the first one and two classes we discuss about that soil are classified as uh, transported soil and deposited soil based on its origin and we also have other classification of soil based on its sizes so i think it's i think it's known to you that soil particles are not of same size and shape they are of irregular and different uh, shape and sizes okay and based on their sizes based on the variation of the sizes the soils are classified under different types okay so let's uh, discuss about that soil classification first 
Okay, wait, let me uh, unlock the meeting first. Uh, no, it's already unlocked, fine. Okay. So, so classification soil can be done by different method. In different country or uh, area, area wise or country wise, there are different classification of soil. They are followed. Okay, like particle size classifications are there, textural classifications is there, highway research board classifications is there, and also unified soil classification and IS classification system is also there. Okay, so since we are in uh, India, so we'll discuss about Indian standard classification of soil only. Fine, but if you go through your textbooks, you will get different method to classify the soil. Okay. Someone is waiting in the lobby. Okay, let me check. Okay, I'm just unlocking the thing. Fine. Yeah, so here you can see uh, in the Indian Standard Soil Classification System, ISSCS. Okay, the soils are classified into groups according to size. And the groups are further divided into coarse, medium, and fine subgroups. Okay, the grain size range, grain matlab, the particle size only, okay. The grain size range is used as the basis for grouping soil particles into boulders, cobble, gravel, sand, silt and clay. Okay, so here you can see uh, the soil classification is, uh, is showing you in a tabular format, fine. So here you can, in this left column, you'll we'll see the type of soil is name is given okay so at the from the very bottom you can see fine soil then above the fine soil it is coarse soil and above coarse soil it's very coarse soil fine and under fine soil have two category of soil okay clay soil silt soil okay so this two type of soil this clay and silt both are considered as fine grain soil fine and then if you uh, go above then sand and gravel these two soils are classified or considered as a coarse grain soil okay and if you go above then cobble and boulder okay so they are considered as very coarse soil so here you have to mind one thing let me take the pen okay let me wait okay so if you see this tabular format the you can see uh, this column okay this column the it's representing the size of the soil particle okay what happened x second and the size of the particle Next second. The pen is not working. Wait. Yeah. Can you see this arrow? So here you can see the size of the particle is increasing from bottom to up. Okay. From bottom to top, the soil sizes is increasing. Fine. If you see here 0 0.002 millimeter. Fine. That means it is what about a soil particle having size less than 0 0.002 millimeter it's very small okay 0 0.002 millimeter okay that type of soils can be considered as a clay soil okay and at a soil particle having sizes between 0 0.002 to 0 0.075 millimeter okay these type of soils are known as silt soil fine and if you go increasing the soil sizes we can have of we there is a trans, uh, transition from fine grain soil to coarse grain soil okay now see 0 0.075 to 0 0.425 if you say in broadly in a broad manner 0 0.075 to 4.75 so here 0 0.002 millimeter to 
4.75 millimeter these soils are known as sand or sandy soil this sandy soil again classified under two three types like uh, fine sand medium sand and coarse sand subdivided okay they are the subdivision of sandy soil so for fine sand what is the uh, size strength it is from 0.075 to 0.425 millimeter for medium sand it is from 0.425 to 2 millimeter for coarse sand 2 millimeter to 4.75 millimeter fine so this is the uh, size range for coarse sand and if again if you increase the uh, size of the soil particle okay then it will come to gravel that means from 4.75 to 80 mm 4.75 to 80 mm they are known as your uh, gravel okay gravel and sand also both are considered as a coarse grain soil x second no yeah and gravel soil again subdivided under two head coarse grain gravel and fine gravel okay fine gravel have sizes from 4.75 to 20 millimeter coarse gravel have size from 20 to 80 millimeter okay so if again if you increase the size of the particle then it will cross the coarse grain soil boundary it will come to that very coarse grain soil boundary okay so from uh, 80 to more than 80 which since it's higher is uh, symbol is given more than 80 if the soil size have more uh, sizes uh, more than 80 mm that soil size is considered as a very coarse soil and very coarse soil again subdivided under two head boulder size and cobal size cobal size have sizes from 80 to 300 millimeter and anything more than 300 millimeter are considered as boulder i think you have seen all this soil in nature isn't it now you can at least recognize what type of soil it is a uh, name uh, based on sizes fine so there is a limit like uh, fine grain soil and coarse grain soil fine so if the soil sizes is uh, less than 75 micron uh, oh, sorry yeah one more thing 0 0.075 millimeter it's also known as 75 micron so you just cross check in google also unit conversation from millimeter to micron okay so in this 0 0.075 millimeter it can be replaced it can be written as 75 micron okay fine or 0 0.075 millimeter so any type of soil uh, having sizes a particle sizes less than 75 micron or 0 0.075 millimeter they are known as fine grain soil and from 0 0.075 millimeter to 4.75 4.75 they are termed as sand or sandy soil from 4.75 to 80 mm they are known as gravel and both gravel and sand are considered as coarse grain soil okay and then very coarse grain soil are cobalt and boulder fine so in this tabular format the lots of informations are there okay so in some exam lots of uh, any uh, question will come as an objective okay what is the clay size uh, okay there is raining actually anyway and okay i think you have got this uh this little idea about this tabular format okay here some notes are given here gravel sand silk and clay are represented by group symbol g s m c respectively okay that means for gravel it is represented by capital c sand is rep represented by a capital s silk is represented by capital m and clay is represented by capital c I think it's very simple to understand only you will be get confused maybe get confused about sand and silk because both are starting from s but you have to remember that sand for sand you have used you have to use capital s but for silk 
you have to use capital M. It's just a simple representation, okay, nothing else. And another information is there like uh, physical weathering produces very coarse and coarse uh, soil. Chemical weathering produces generally fine soil. It's a small note, so you can just try to remember this, okay. So, this is all about the classification of soil based on sizes as per Indian standard, okay. I'll go to the next slide. Yeah. So, from this, wait. From this uh, classification of soil, we can find two types of soil. We can define two main types of soil. They are coarse grain soil and fine grain soil. Okay. So I think you already got the idea about what is coarse grain soil and what is fine grain soil. But in this definition, in coarse grain soil, more than half of the total material by mass is larger than 75 micron or 0 0.075 millimeter size and in other hand in case of fine grain soil more than half of the total material by mass is smaller than 75 micron uh, can you understand this statement suppose okay suppose we have a soil sample okay suppose you uh, take some uh, 1 kg or 500 gram of soil in laboratory now how can you determine how can you say this uh, this whatever soil sample you have is coarse grain soil or fine grain soil okay so how can you say so if that uh, mo if more than 50 percent of total mass of the soil okay if more than 50 percent of total mass of the soil have size higher than or greater than 75 micron or 0 0.075 millimeter that type of soil is known as coarse grain soil okay the major soil must contain coarse contain higher than 75 micron and in other hand if um, more than 50 percent of your total mass of soil have sizes less than 75 micron then we can say the soil is fine grain soil because sine percentage is more in that particular soil okay i think you have got this idea about what is fine grain soil in coarse grain soil fine so the same statement is uh, mentioning the half of the total material means more than 50 percent of the total mass of the soil must be higher than 71 micron for coarse grain soil and for fine grain soil more than half of the total mass of the soil must be less than or smaller than 75 micron size then only we can say that type of soil is fine grain soil okay till now any uh, doubt you can ask me i'll just stop for some minute if you have any doubt till now you can just uh, you can text me or you can just unmute yourself and just talk to me. Okay. Let me know. Don't have any doubt. That's good. Anything to ask? No. Okay, then. Then we'll proceed to the. Uh, why shield is represented by M? see uh there is no excess clarification okay just it is standard standard by in the standard okay so it is not like that why it is not a big thing to research on why silt is represented by m just remember this okay to distinguish between silt and your uh sand particle only a simple uh you know uh, m is symbol is for silt okay no such logic is there as far as know just a symbol you just remember sand is represented by uh, uh s and silt is represented by m anything else <sighs> okay so we'll proceed to the next slide. 
uh, wait. Yeah, since we are want to find actually we are want to know about particle size distribution. Okay, so for that also we have to know why particle size distribution is done. Okay, we already know about particle size distribution is a index property of soil, but what is the reason behind that? This is the reason behind it that you can see grade of soil. The particle size distribution it is done to find out the grade of soil. Okay, now let's find out what do you mean by and grade of soil. Now a soil sample may be either well graded or poorly graded. As I already told you that soil particles in nature have different shape and sizes. There are variation in sizes. Okay. So also you cannot get uh, in nature all soils are mixed together small larger medium all sizes are mixed together okay in nature fine so whatever sample you collected from your side what and uh, in your laboratory that soil may be a well graded or maybe poorly graded now let's discuss why on based on what we can say your soil sample is well graded or poorly graded Fine. A soil is said to be well graded when it has good representation of particles of all sizes. Now, what do you mean by that? We already discussed about different type of soil in the previous slide. Yeah, this one. Different type of soils, different sizes. Okay, we've got it. Now, if your soil sample uh, have all these soil sizes, all these soil sizes uh, in that your particular sample, then you can say that that sample is known as well graded soil. That means well graded soil is that soil which have a good rep representation of particles of all sizes. Fine. Now, if the soil have uh, don't have a representation of all sizes, then we can say it's a poorly graded soil. Simply the opposite of well graded soil. Fine. A soil is said to be poorly graded if it has an excess of certain particle or deficiency of other sizes. Okay, now in bracket also some special name is written here. If your soil is not well graded, that means if your soil have no have not uh, don't contain all the sizes, it contain uh, just suppose it contain only one particular sizes. Okay. Most of the suppose uh, your soil sample have a uh, soil sizes. Most of the soil particle have the almost same size. Okay, then we can say that soil is poorly graded soil first. Then under poorly graded soil, we can say that soil is uniformly graded soil. If the soil has or contain soil sizes of a particular size. Fine. And if that particular soil have a deficiency of other sizes, suppose uh, suddenly one particular size is completely missing, then that type of soil is known as gap graded soil or skip graded soil. Okay. I think you will understand from the graph. I'll show you this uh, graphical presentation. So it's a graphical presentation of particle size distribution. Okay, uh, this graph can be determined from laboratory. We're going to discuss how to determine this graph. Okay, but for now, you just understand this is a graphical representation of grade of soil. At below, you will just, it is in x-axis, which is in logarithmic scale. This is particle size in millimeter. And in the uh, y-axis, it is percentage finer. Okay. So don't get confused here. We'll discuss about what is all these things in uh, very soon. But till now, we just concentrate on this graph. Okay. So this is a typical particle size distribution graph that can be determined in laboratory by doing some particle size distribution uh, test, or you can say sieve analysis test. We're going to discuss in coming classes. So if the soil is uniformly Graded. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's see the well graded soil. What do you mean by well graded soil? The soil has representation of all sizes. That means the graph will be like this. Okay. So you can see 
from here to here it contain this amount of soil particle having approximately equal percentage the smooth curve is you can see this is a well graded soil okay now for a uh, uniformly graded soil now you can see this is the uniformly graded soil okay and now you can see the slope is higher than this soil this graph and this graph or this curve have a higher slope you can see the steep curve is given so what from comparing this graph and this graph what you can see this graph is ranges ranges from where from here to suppose here or suppose if you consider only this straight portion this straight portion vertical straight portion is approx approximately straight right so it is uh, ranges from suppose point 0.1 to point 0.2 this straight portion that means this particular soil sample contain only this soil sizes that's why this type of soil is known as uniformly graded soil since the curve is steep and uh, you know having high slope now if you see this graph that is well graded soil this is uniformly increasing soil okay increasing curve so gradually increasing curve and it is ranges from here to here it's 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 cover larger soil particle that means this type of soil contain higher or maximum soil sizes fine so can you see this difference now if you see the gap graded soil now now you just considered here in this soil gap graded soil why it's called gap graded now see from here from zero to e point the graph is gradually increasing that means the uh, this uh, soil particle or whatever soil sample you have carried out uh, carried in laboratory this soil contain this soil particles approximately equal percentage but suddenly from e1 to e2 this graph go horizontal that means there is no increase in percentage finer this in y axis there is no increase in y axis this is a flat portion that means this from e1 to e2 that is if you see this particle size this amount of soil is completely missing from this soil okay this amount of soil from e1 to e2 this soil sizes is completely missing from the soil sample that's why it's known as gap graded soil okay so from even from the graph also we can find out or you can just visualize what a, what type of soil it is what or what grade of the soil it is fine so if you understand grade of soil if you understand the grade of soil so to find out what grade uh, of the soil that you have so we can find out the grade of soil in laboratory by doing uh, particle size analysis it's called particle size distribution okay that's why particle size distribution is considered as a index properties of soil okay why it's called index property because uh, the percentage of various size of particles in a given dry soil sample is found by a particle size analysis or mechanical analysis to find out the grade of soil whether it is well graded uniformly graded or gap graded to find out that we can uh, go through this particle size distribution and you have to prepare this uh, graph which is known as particle size distribution graph and this curve are known as particle size distribution curve okay so particle size distribution is done by two approach one approach is for is known as sieve analysis second approach is known as sedimentation analysis or weight mechanical analysis sieve analysis is done for coarse grain soil mind it and sedimentation analysis is done for fine grain soil so for now we are only discussing about uh, your uh, sieve analysis for coarse grain soil that means if you see the tabular format only for this soil coarse grain soil it is it may contain sand and gravel okay we especially we go for sandy sand soil only okay and for fine grain soil to classify the uh, fine grain soil we have sedimentation analysis we cannot go or you cannot do uh, classification of fine grain soil or particle size distribution of fine grain soil by 
sieve analysis. Why we can't do that, we'll discuss in coming classes. Okay. So till now, so we discuss about what is type of soil, classification of soil, okay, and different type of soil based on sizes and grade of soil. Fine. So uh, I think uh, I'll I'm to stop here because it will be now too much for you now. In next class, we'll discuss the detailed procedure of particle size distribution. X again, something. Hold on. Yeah, why? Let me stop my sharing. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah. So, till now we discuss about types of soil based on sizes, classification of soil, and grade of soil, and different grade of soil. And particle size distribution is done to find out grade of soil, what grade of soil you have. Okay. Fine. And in the coming classes, we'll discuss about sieve analysis. So, we'll discuss sieve analysis in coming classes, how to go for sieve analysis. Okay, we will give uh, an uh, introduction to this sieve. I think you will see this, this apparatus known as sieve. Okay, and we'll go for go through the detailed procedure of sieve analysis, how to uh, go for tabulation, how to plot the graph, fine, and how to finally find out well graded soil L and uniformly graded soil. Fine. So we'll discuss this these things in next class, and I just want to stop sharing now. Okay, I will also uh, close my recording now. Wait.